Oh, I don't know. We could be like on a big discovery. Okay, go, go ahead. Oh god. Is it locked? Oh! I'm so scared something's gonna pop up. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Since traveling is not an option right now, what's the next best thing? That's right, exploring. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose and today we're doing an adventure. We have some leads on some abandoned houses out here in the countryside of Pennsylvania. There is a lot of abandoned places out in the country, more so than in cities because they're not picked over yet. We're gonna go and we're gonna explore this like the true explorers that we are. I don't know if we'll be able to get in. It's just me and Lauren again. Two girls doing a, the adventures. Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of thorns to get through first. Eh, get off me. Okay, so there's Amish over here, but then there's a, another property over here. Hopefully they don't say anything. I think we'll be fine with that. We have to kind of scope out the area to see what's safe. Let's go around the outside and see what we can find. Some of it might be falling in, so we have to be careful. Safety first. Should have brought some gloves or something. They got taken away because they didn't pay taxes. So I explored an abandoned house with my other friend and um, I'll show you the clips of that right here. Some say she's a cyborg, half woman, 75% robot. But one thing's for sure, 125% Victoria Rose. Time to explore. One thing about Eastern America is you can find a lot of old abandoned places to explore. And you can always get lost in someone else's story. Yeah, well, yeah 428 gives away eight children. We actually even found the deed laying on the floor to this house. Very interesting. It's the bathroom. Gosh, I don't know. I think we got some remodeling work to do. Just a little paint, just a little paint on it. They say it's haunted down there. The ninth child. Ouch. <laughs> I see the ninth child. This week on Abandon. Did you hear that? What? Did you hear it? I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. It's giving me the creeps in here. Oh no, the ninth child. Ah! Uh oh. Get, hurry, ah. This is scary. Ah, I think it got me. Oh no. Ah. Probably shouldn't hurry out of here. If we hurry, <laughs> we're gonna knock this house down. I know, the whole house will fall down. I'm, the, I'm actually the ninth child. But anyways, let's get back to today and the two houses we're exploring. But that one didn't have electricity and it was really old. We found a lot of cool things. And I don't know what's going on underneath the floor. It's like, fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 it's a bird. It's a bird. So this house definitely is not as old as the other one that we went in. This one's, it, it's very, it feels very like 90s. Oh, this is such a cool aesthetic for pictures. Oh, look at this boom box. That's cool. You should wear better shoes than that. I know, you would have thought. But this is disgusting. It's just like a nesting ground. The look is like a old CD player. <laughs> Ew, look, there's a little attic, but... Raccoons. Gross. Ew! Ugh. Flush, I told you to flush. Look. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, no, if it's okay. Whoa. Whoa. So just, ew, really. I mean, this, this, this house is just more like, ew, more than like, oh, what is this? This looks, I like this door. Look how creepy it is. It's definitely haunted. It's like an old bed. Oh, wow. That's a weird like crate over there. Yeah, I wonder what they do. This is so forbidding and like oh, weird. That. That's creepy. 
So that was house number one. That one wasn't that cool because it wasn't that old, but it's something. <laughs> so goodbye, ugly, gross, kooky house. <laughs> Let's move on. We're gonna try and find the one we really wanted to find, which is this huge old farmhouse. It's number two. Let's go. So that thorn bush on the way out stuck me like, like five different times in five different places. <laughs> so I have, a, I have it stuck in my thumb now. I'm trying to get it out. Ran at two weeks ago. So if you go to that dirt road that is just past the lake, this is it. We found it. It's kind of caving in. No one's gonna find us here because there's like, we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, literally. this is it's literally just farmland. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this house is a dangerous one because all the buildings around it are completely fallen in, all caved in. Oh, it's so hard because it's all thorn bushes up there. Another very interesting aspect of abandoned places is how they were left. Some things were left cleaned out and some not at all. Oh, wow. This is really protected. Look at all these thorns. So many thorns. have to get through. Yeah. Oh, I hate you so much. I also want to apologize for all my complaining and exclamations of disgust okay. in this video. <laughs> Someday I will be a true nothing can phase me explorer. For now, I'm a beginner. Make our own way. Yeah, that's what we do. Make your own way. Get oh, off of me! We made a path through the thorns. I'm so paranoid about being collapsed upon. Wow. Look at this curtain right here. That's a that's an aesthetic. It's just the floor junk. is disgusting. It's, just it's disgusting. Items. It's not floor anymore. Yeah. Like uh, this cassette tapes. 90s. Yeah. So it's definitely a 90s house yeah. again. But I think more 90s than early 2000s. So I think this is lots, lots of VHS tapes. Looks like the basement is open. Oh, here's like another way in. Oh my gosh. There's a beehive. There's a beehive, There's a beehive, there. a beehive out there. Okay, that scares me. That scares me because I'm allergic to the honeybees. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, do, do, don't don't rile them up. Don't go out there and rile them up. Is this like a drop down to the basement? Is that yeah, it's just, you just have to dive down there. Oh. Like, <laughs> what is this? You shine a light a little more in there? It's uh, really ugly. Oh, this is where the body's kept, for sure. There's no way the body's kept. Oh, yeah, there. that's yeah. the freezer. <laughs> Let's open it. Yeah, okay, go ahead. And the key's in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably oh. a lot. Are they maggots? What? Those are, those are bugs of some sort. They are. Are yeah. they dead? And they look like they're maggots. Dried up? They're dried up maggots? Um, I don't know. We could be like on a big discovery. Okay, go, go ahead. Oh god. Is the box? Oh! I'm so scared something's gonna pop up. <gasps> Okay, it's just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this food. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so old. So much food. Oh my gosh. It doesn't smell, it's so much food. Th that's so why many maggots. So much. So many maggots. So many bugs in there, that's why. Wow. There's some beef. That's disgusting. Oh yeah, I found a beef. All of this right here is maggots. Like dead maggots everywhere. Mm. Well, there's no body in here. So we're like gonna be the explorers of like abandoned nasty places. Like we're gonna be like the trash explorers. <laughs> but I don't know if we should go upstairs. Like, well, let's see. If you do explore, please leave things how they are and be very, very careful. Oh, gross! There's a dead possum. Still with tags. It's like new condition. Quite. Vintage. Actually, I, I could wear that. He's so bad. Again, someday I will be a true good explorer. Men have it so easy, I tell you. Is there anything cool to see? It's I'm, just, I'm, I'm you just know what's weird? Down. 
Yeah, it's just jars again, like the old house. Everybody has in. so much canning stuff. It's just canning down here. So that has been the exploration of this house. What should we call this house? Well, it's Mrs. Boyd's house. We'll call it Mrs. Boyd's house. She was reading the diary from Mrs. Boyd. All the cosmetics you could ever want. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the exploration of the Boyd house and the... You guys pick a name for the first house, or yeah, the other house down below. And also, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and I'll do more explorations. Stay extraterrestrial, we are out here. <laughs> I love you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Stay tuned for my character development as an explorer. <laughs> Goodbye.